Facebook Read Aloud. Have you ever played a sport? Briar loves to play fetch. In today's story, Pei is going to learn all about teamwork. She's going to learn this through sports, mixing color, and of course, her buddy Vinny. Let's begin! Color teams, Paisley's adventure in primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. That's what I was afraid of. You're still here. Well, I guess I should explain. I was dribbling. I was shooting. I was at basketball practice. I was unstoppable until they posted the results. B team, second string. I might as well not be on the team. Hmm, what's this, Vinny? Whoa, those basketball skills are paying off. Hip hip hooray. Color me crazy, we did it again. <sighs> Just like my mood, blue. This is more than just the color blue. This is called a primary color. Vinny tried to take my mind off my disappointment, but even blue had made it on the A-team before I did. Is this the only primary color? No, it's like a team. Blue needs its teammates red and yellow too. How about a little teamwork? Let's get to work, Vinny. Now that's what I call yellow bellied Paisley. Oh no, I messed this up too. Actually, you've not made a mess. You've actually made a new color. Yellow and blue make green. Vinny was right. Woohoo! Let's mix it up. So on the one hand, yellow and red make orange, and on the other hand, red and blue make purple. Vinny was impressed. That's correct. These are the secondary colors. Basically, this is the B team. Without these colors, the picture is incomplete. Get it? I mean, I guess it does make it more colorful and interesting. Swish. Something's not right here. Oh, besides the fact that you're laying on a wet painting pay, I call that a foul. Ha ha, leave the jokes to me, Vinny. Do you notice that the green in our uniforms is not the same? Yes, indeed. There is a third team. We have the primary team, the secondary team, and now the tertiary team. When you mix two primary colors and use equal amounts, you'll get a secondary color. However, if you put a little too much of one color, you get a tertiary color. It's like a double dribble. This is where we get colors like yellow-green, blue-green, blue-violet, etc., etc. Where on the color wheel is macaroni and cheese orange, asparagus green, and bubblegum pink? Suddenly I'm hungry. They're all here, even banana yellow. These are just the nicknames for the tertiary colors we see on the wheel. Bring it in. One, two, three, teamwork. Hip hip hooray. Whether you're a tertiary color or on the B team, every color and every person is important. It takes teamwork. So remember, I see your true colors. I hope you enjoyed that story. Since playing fetch didn't really work earlier, we have another activity that we're gonna do together. You're gonna need a few things. First, you'll need some paper. There we go. And a paintbrush. And then the primary colors of paint, which are, according to the book, yellow, blue, and red. 
So, go ahead and pause the video, go get your supplies, and when you're ready, press play to begin. Feel free to pause the video so you can mix the colors yourself. Then when you're ready, go ahead and press play and keep on mixing. Benny's Vice. As we learned today, there are three primary colors. These are red, yellow, and blue. Task number one. In your sketchbook, paint or color several common items in these three colors. There are also three secondary colors, which come from the three primary colors. The secondary colors are orange, green, and purple. Task number two. Use your primary colors from task number one to create the secondary colors. Mix them and see what you come up with. There are countless tertiary colors, such as yellow, orange, green, blue, red, violet, etc. Task number three, mix primary colors in order to create all new colors. You can use paint or you can always try to mix a few unique items. Photo number one. Use markers to draw on coffee filters or tissue paper. Spray with water to watch the colors mix. Photo number two, mix together primary colored clay or dough. Photo number three, in a jar of water, mix a couple drops of food coloring. We did it! High five! <laughs> there we go. That was some great teamwork. Join us next time on Briar Patch Book Read Aloud for a new read aloud. See you then! Please like and subscribe and keep on joining us for more read-alouds.